Hey Capricorn, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, March 29th. At the heart of your reading, we have the Two of Cups. A choice in love, a choice to give and receive love between the two willing partners. Let's see your challenge. Page of Swords in reverse, lack of communication. This tells me that you likely want to hear from the person more often. Although it could be you who's not as communicative as your partner would like. Your focus, Seven of Wands in reverse. You're either trying to be less guarded, to not put up the walls and block the person out, like a defense mechanism. You might be trying to keep your defense mechanism from activating. Or if it's your person who has their walls up and isn't communicating, you might be trying to poke holes in their armor. Like, hey, you can trust me. You can let me in. In the recent past, we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. I think you've recently left a group. You might have left a group that includes your romantic partner. like a class you were attending together or a workplace. Or you might have been like on the same project at work and now you've left that project. Because I think that this has to do with the, the decrease in communication. It's, it's almost like you got to know them in the context of being in a group with them. And now that you're no longer part of that group, you're finding it difficult to keep that flow of getting to know the person or maintaining a connection without the context of that group. The energy of the environment is the Ace of Swords, victory, truth, justice. Whatever the blockage is here with the Page of Swords, the communication. Spirit is definitely supporting the breakthrough necessary to, to heal that situation. Or, I mean, to, mm, to bring, to, to open up the lines of communication. can also be divine inspiration, like a new idea. In the near future, we have the Hierophant reversed. Your partner might quit that group as well. Or this might be you just, um, underscoring and reconfirming your decision that you don't want to be a part of that group. The difficult thing to talk about might be 
the implications on the relationship for one of you having left the group. Like, if you both belonged to a religion and one of you has left the religion, finding a way to talk about that Show me surprise energy. King of Pentacles. Your person is going to surprise you with how supportive they are. This isn't going to shake them. Their concept of the stability of your relationship isn't predicated upon being a member of this group. I feel a very supportive energy from this person. They're in your corner. They want to help you succeed. but not by putting their own ideas on you, but allowing you to pursue your own ideas. Your hopes and fears, we have judgment. Well, I mean, if you're leaving a religion, that's crystal clear what your concern is. You're, you're worried about well, the judgment of others. You may still be worried about the, um, you know, the religious implications of what you've been taught will happen at the final judgment of your soul. Um, we might be talking about quite a, a deep concern here. For those of you not dealing with um, a religious quandary here, You're questioning your decision. You're hoping that it was a sound decision. But you're not sure yet. Certainty is what's promised here with the Ace of Swords. Clarity of, clarity of thought, clarity of mind. And yeah, we have you leaving, exiting the Ace of Cups. Uh, sorry, the Eight of Cups. Um, Eight of Cups has this undertone of this is the right thing for you. This is the right move for you. It's um, in order to grow and expand and evolve and pursue a greater measure of happiness in your life. So whatever walking away that you are undertaking now, I do see you going through with it, and I see it being a really good move for you. Your advice, plan for the long term here. Don't expect immediate results. Seven of Pentacles says that whatever you're building here in the future is going to take some nurturing. It's going to take some patience before you start to see the fruit of your labor. Keep investing, keep working on it, and have faith that it will pay off. Capricorn, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.